The Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria, Koren, has emphasized the importance of professionals adhering to code standards and regulations to ensure the construction industry becomes a safe haven for the country. During the opening of the 2024 edition of the Nigeria Build Expo in Lagos, Koren President Engineer Ali Rabiu stressed the significance of promoting ethics and upholding standards among all professional bodies. Engineer Ali Rabiu highlighted that the discussions at the expo will, pay, will play a crucial role in reshaping engineering practices nationwide and unlocking the vast potential within the profession, making it a key driver in the sustainable socio-economic and infrastructure development of the nation. The speeches that were given inside, well, they have actually outlined the major issues uh, uh, in the construction industry. Actually, there is uh, the issue of uh, regulation. Actually, enforcement of the regulation is, is not there. And most of the major stakeholders in the industry are not regulated. When you talk of the artisans, generally they are the, major, they are the majority. But it's like they are not regulated. And generally, the regulation is poor. But thank God, the Koren, which is one of the major regulators, you see they are coming up. With other regulators, Corbon and things like that, they are coming up uh, to, to structure so that we have a more robust regulation and enforcement. Additionally, the national chairman of the Nigeria Institute of Mechanical Engineers, Engineer Al Hassan Mohammed, urged, the, urged for the accreditation of more training institutions to regulate the practice of engineers, technologists, technicians, and craftsmen in Nigeria. Meanwhile, the CEO of Elan Expo, Jude Chime, urged the federal government to ensure a stable foreign exchange rate to support the growth of the nation's economy. Chime emphasized the importance of Nigeria beginning to export its engineering services to leverage its comparative advantage. You know, Nigeria has come of age, you know, in terms of um, um, working towards exporting not just products, but also our services. Yes, you know, our engineers, of course, um, seeing what we have here, okay, will definitely uh, work towards um, improving, you know, our services, you know, providing quality services, and of course, working towards the export of our services. That's the most important thing I, um, I would like to say, you know, which is the take home for the stakeholders. And of course, um, stakeholders, which includes government, work towards um, the effects, you know, stabilize it, and you find out that it's, um, of course, it's going to be a huge, um, it's, it's going to be really, really massive, you know, in terms of. Um, what, we, what this will bring in terms of how many investors this will attract, you know, if the FX is stabilized for five, ten years, of course. I know that it's always easy to keep looking to the government, but uh, definitely they have a role. And uh, one of the things is they need to make the, it easier for us to practice. Um, and that means putting in place appropriate regulation, putting in place uh, incentives to be able to do things properly and we've talked a lot at, about um, PPP public private partnership we need to get together and have a common objective of getting ahead I think it's, uh, we've had too much of um, fragmented efforts which don't get us very far so we need to get very very serious because the rest of the world is leaving us behind. We really have all that it takes. We have, um, we have the, the practitioners, we have uh, all the minerals, we have everything. And uh, it's just a matter of getting our act together.